Hi everybody. The last video covering these plays was 13 minutes long, so I thought it would be good to have a short review version. So here we go. We know that we're what we're trying to do with these plays. Sister Brandy, the posts go to the ball so they can receive an entry pass. Brother Jeter, they go away from the ball so that the wing can drive in. The setup is like Sister Tiffany, except that the uh, perimeter players rotate to get to the top, but the uh, center and the opposite corner do their same movements to get set up for this play just like they would in Sister Tiffany. One more time. That's the setup. Now we're ready for the 3-2 uh, offense. Sister Brandy's going to swing the ball, make an entry pass, then dish out of the post for somebody to score. Brother Jeter's going to swing the ball, drive in, and dish off of the drive for somebody else to score. The swing involves swinging the ball from place to place where the interior players go toward the ball if it's Sister Brandy, just like this right here. They'll do the opposite of this if it's Brother Jeter. Okay, one more time. Toward the ball, whatever side the ball goes to, they go to that side post. But if it's Brother Jeter, they go away. Now, the three perimeter players cannot stand still. They need to be in motion. They can swap places with each other. They can cut in and V-cut back out. All sorts of movements to confuse the defense and to get free of a defender to receive one of these passes. All right, Extremely important. Something we need to make a habit all the time when we're playing basketball. Here's what it looks like all together. And notice that with everybody moves, then it doesn't even look like a play. It's when you stand still that the other team, coaches, and players can figure out what our plays are. So an entry pass is where the wing passes it in to the high post or the low post. And you're only going to make that entry pass if the post player has her defender sealed and you've got defense close to you. She's got to have her defender sealed like that. Got to have the defender sealed behind her so the defender cannot interfere with the ball. You've got to have defense close to you so that they're not faded back like this because if you try to make an entry pass and your defender has given you a big gap, then it's going to be interfered with. So you would either drive, shoot, or continue to swing if this happens. Here's what we do if we make that entry pass to the low post. The wing who passes will slide to the corner. The top will replace that spot at the wing. The high post will cut to the basket, and the opposite wing will move toward the top to a line of sight position with that ball so that a safety pass could go there. Put all together, here's what they look like. I'm going to run that one more time. This is the motion when the pass goes to the low post. Okay, let's see uh, how we score off of this. That center will then pass the ball to any of these moving players. She knows where they're going because we do it the same way every time. And all of those uh, places to receive the ball are good opportunities to score by a baseline drive, a wing drive, or obviously the forward gets right to the rim. If we pass to the top, we all move in a similar direction to uh, the low post pass. So uh, that guard's going to go down to the corner again after passing, but then she's going to bounce back up and replace herself. The center's going to crawl across the front. Okay, there's that guard bouncing. The center's going to crawl across the front of the rim, keeping the defense sort of screened out, boxed back, so that she could receive a, a pass in the paint. The uh, top guard is going to run towards that wing, but instead of going to the wing, she's going to go to the elbow to receive a handoff, just like she, just like the two-man attack of Sister Tiffany, and the opposite forward crawls to the top. Okay, here it is all together. All right, one more time. Those are the movements all together. And any of those players are in a great position to score. Look how the guard who received the handoff, the center has defense sealed. And so that's a wide open shot. That's a really good opportunity to score on this play. 
for the brother Jeter, the drive we have to move where we where she knows where we're going to be, so she can make a great pass. The uh, when she drives in, she can go straight to the basket or to the middle in front of the rim. Uh, the two post players must stay put. Do not react by instinct going towards the ball or towards the basket. We're trying to shake the defense off of you, and that's why you've got to stay where you are. Um, and the perimeter players are going to slide towards where the ball came from to replace the empty spots, just like that. All right. One more time. Perimeter players replace. Post players stay put. One more time. There we go. So any of these people are in a good situation to receive a pass. The low block, the elbow, or the wing right behind. And we should always get in the habit. Replace anybody who drives so that they know they can turn around and pass it out. Okay. That's it. And that one was quicker for a good review. Talk to you later.